Hello record collectors. Today I'd like to show the records for uh, two groups in my collection, psychedelic groups from the late 60s. The first is the Electric Prunes and the second group, Vanilla Fudge. First group, the Electric Prunes, based in Los Angeles, California, got together in 1965. In 1966 they made this album right here. The Electric Prunes. I had too much to dream last night and get me to the world on time to the hits that they had uh, I had too much to dream last night okay. was that number 11 on the charts and uh, get me to the world on time with number 27 on the charts all of these um, records by the electric booms are on the reprise label this was released in 1967 very good album. This is uh, sort of like um, a lot of the fuzz guitar, fuzz type sound, uh, psychedelic music. Their second album from 1967. Here's Underground, also a very good album. Again, with sort of the guitar fuzz. Come the third album, a major change in the group, both in personnel and the style of music third album came out in 1968 mass in F minor this album was sort of produced by uh, David Axelrod the entire thing done all the vocals are done in Latin and it has a very religious based theme to it some of the music on here got very complex and many of the band members did not participate in recording and Dave Axelrod got um, a Canadian band called The Collectors to do much of the music on this album. He also employed the use of some session musicians, some I think were from the Wrecking Crew. The next album, 1968, sort of along the same lines again, uh, release of an old uh, Dave Axelrod project. Almost none of the original band members are left by this point. Again, this sort of was is based on uh, this album, based on a Jewish prayer. The last album they put out, the new and approved Electric Crews, where they sort of got back more to the rock style rather than those concept albums. This is their uh, final album. And that was in 1969. It was released. By now, I don't think I can't. I don't believe there's almost any of the um, original members are left in the group. But the next group is Vanilla Fudge. Their first album, Vanilla Fudge, came out in 1967 and reached number six on the Billboard charts. I think they were signed to the Atlantic label, but to show up, uh, at least my copies are on the Atco label. Unlike the Electric Prunes, this is a group that pretty much stayed together. The original members are on almost all of the albums. The next one here is uh, The Beat Goes On. This came out in 1968, reached number 17 on the Billboard charts. One fact about uh, Vanilla Fudge is that um, they were managed by an individual who was associated with the New York mob. I think he owned a lot of nightclubs in New York and he was able to get them gigs there. The next one, Renaissance. And this came, was, uh, came out in 1968, number 20 on the charts. This one, more than, um, whereas the electric prunes is more like fuzz guitar, the organ is more the predominant uh, instrument you hear in all these. Uh, uh, albums by Benalla Fudge. A lot of heavy organ playing. 1969, near the beginning. Reach number 16 on the charts. Rock and Roll, number 6, came out in 1969. Reach number 34 on the charts.
And I had this in the collection. No idea where I picked it up or what it is. Um, the the Vanilla Fudge, uh, the original name of these, some of the members were uh, the Pigeons. And I think this might be some early material or something like that. I found this in a vinyl store a few years ago and picked it up for like five bucks. By 1970, the group had disbanded and two of the members went on to form the group Cactus. And later they teamed up with uh, Jeff Beck to uh, create another group. One of the things we're on the Vanilla Fudge is um, you look at, uh, they do a lot of color, cover versions of uh, groups. And you can see on this one, a lot of Beatle tunes here, like Ticket to Ride, Eleanor Rigby. So um, they, they do the the songs in sort of like their own style, heavy on the organ, and sort of a psychedelic or even progressive feel to it. Both bands are quite good if you're into sort of like 60s psychedelic or early progressive. Those are two that you should check out. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.